<clears throat> All right, here we are. We got everything back in and reconnected. We're going to go ahead and start checking this out pretty good. I got to get the push button assembly back on it and the tuner back on it. Uh, we had to do quite a bit of hunt and uh, snag the crusty wires in here. Um, you can see pretty much the white wires, uh, the blue wire there, that's to the IF, the red wires to the IF, the green wire there is to the IF, that black wire right there is to the IF, and this brown wire right here, which was the original culp, well, the green was the culprit, but when I disconnected that one from there, all these other points went open to chassis. So I'm going to get around to checking this right now, and uh, we'll be back. <clears throat> Alright, I think I got it set up here where you can see everything. I'm going to use the probe. We're, all, we're clipped off here on the negative side to the chassis. Uh, meter reading zip. And, oh, uh, I got it. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to tie my probe into the... There we go. So, now, um, what I was saying was all the positives on these caps were showing something to ground everything in here wherever i checked even that on all the uh lugs on the uh on the volume control uh all the lugs on this coil um was all showing some value to ground and on the on the clipper, uh, they were all opens. So now, um, let me go over here and check to that lug down here. Open. We'll go on all the positive lugs here. Open. 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 Over here, on the coil, open 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 over here to the to the brown wire on the volume control open to the wiper on the con volume control open on the high side of the volume control open hallelujah brother <laughs> Gee. Uh, boy, I tell you, I was chasing my butt real good for the last couple of days on that. Oh, by the way, it is Thursday uh, morning, almost noon. Um, so, uh, what it was, was what it is, what it would be, is this little springy thingy was wrapped with a shield around it like that and there was more of it that went into here uh, you can see how corroded it, uh, it is right here I mean it just broke apart on me trying to pull the wire out of it and it came out the other part came out in three pieces so Let me pick this up and shake the world. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Let me take this thing over here off the tripod. Sorry about all the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, pointing device. What did I do with it? Okay. Um, well, that blue wire. That's blue wire goes into you can't see it very well here 
because I've got the the braiding on it you can see a little reddish thing right there I didn't have a spring of this size uh, I, th I thought I did at least a spring that was flexible enough I got stiff ones but I don't have anything that's really flexible like that spring that's the green wire that goes in there it's slightly rusted but not as bad as this other one was what I had to do since it looks red I use 22 gauge solid enameled wire and coiled it up on a small screwdriver to get to make a spring out of it and uh, use some of my go-to glue across two sides of it to hold them all together and then sleeved it in a jacket of that of that braiding you can see right through there and put the I remounted the IF can and then slid this wire into it and worked it all the way back into there until I could get it back in and into the IF can and then the end of it ends up right here on uh, the fourth lug of the or pin four of the LN5 tube the second LN5 tube so uh, that's what I had to do with that we got rid of the, the old black jumpers braided wire that hooked those two negatives together on the e-caps and put the shorting bar just like we did on the uh, on the clipper So now that that is done and it is checked out and everything is hopefully copacetic, I'm going to go ahead and mount up the other subcomponents on this thing and uh, check it again and see where we're at. So stay tuned.